Uh, I'm Alice Kelsey and this is my studio where I create uh, oil and pastel, primarily landscapes, some still lifes. Um, I'm part of the Art Thrives on 45 program, a, a tour of artist studios. And um, my own studio is near Warriors Mark. That's um, about 20 minutes outside of State College. And um, I invite visitors to come and see how I make art here in the studio and also finished pieces that are in a, another room here in our old farmhouse. And um, it's a beautiful landscape surrounding it. Um, so hopefully a good journey coming to see what's going on. I grew up in eastern Pennsylvania in a rural area, uh, Chester County near Westchester. And I think that's part of why I became a landscape artist. It's just the beauty of that natural landscape that was part of my upbringing now uh, comes out in the work I do. Um, and fortunately, I, I love the central Pennsylvania landscape too, so that's really uh, featured in all of my paintings. Mm -hmm. um, are there any particular periods of art or, uh, I guess, also regional areas that influence the kind of work you do? Well, there's certainly artists that, that I admire that, that I can, you know, see some of their influence. Um, obviously, I have an impressionistic bent, um, mm -hmm. so some of the American impressionists, um, like John Henry Twachtman, I really admire kind of poetic quality to his work, and French impressionists, Monet and um, Degas, others, Cezanne, mm -hmm. um, but uh, also have a semi-abstract quality to a lot of the work I do too. Uh, that, I've seen referred to as abstract impressionism, mm -hmm. a little bit of that expressionist mm -hmm. <laughs> abstract elements in there, because I really think very carefully about the, you know, shapes and colors just as elements in their own right. It's not just about the, you know, physical subject. So mm -hmm. there's that kind of abstract element there that means a lot. Trying to synthesize that with an actual, you know, representational image is kind of mm -hmm. an interesting challenge. So it's somewhere between realism and abstract. Mm -hmm. Do you do all of your work in the studio, or do you actually do uh, some of it in the field? Or? Uh, no, I um, often go out plein air painting. Right here is my uh, portable easel, dating back to the you know, French Impressionists, how they got around with all their stuff. I have um, a kind of minimalist setup because I like to go far off-road mm -hmm. with it out on trails, fields, and you know, it can take long just essential small kit of pastels or um, oils with me. and often begin things on location. This one was started there, um, several others, and often find that just helps me get an authentic feel to mm -hmm. the work. So, and, and I notice so much more than if I just stood there deliberately trying to study it. There's something about engaging with what's in front of you in the process of painting. I see so much more. Mm -hmm. And the kind of connections between things. That, just adds to the depth. Um, although I don't, I'm not exclusively a plein air painter. Uh, a lot of times I'll work, particularly in the winter. You know, there's a kind of seasonal nice rhythm where, in the winter, I'll uh, sometimes do still lives. Um, although they're usually about living natural things too, fruit. You know, see some mm -hmm. images around. Still pretty much nature inspired, but um, done inside. Or then sometimes I work from just evoked images, um, just beginning with shapes and colors mm -hmm. and seeing where it goes. And usually for me it ends up in a landscape anyway, mm -hmm. like a stream might emerge or uh, woods. Um, but, you know, beginning with the abstract elements. So kind of have a seasonal uh, way of working and some mm -hmm. different approaches that end up from different angles at a similar place. I think. Mm -hmm. Where do you show your work, or where is it available for sale? Um, I have work here available on the Art Thrives on 45 Studio Tour program, my own home studio gallery, uh, plus in-state college work with the Artisan Connection. That's right downtown across from the library. Um, also work with the Faustina Gallery in Lewisburg. That's at the other end of the Art Thrives on 45 trail. Mm -hmm as well as um, some galleries in the eastern Pennsylvania region. So those right. are the main places right now. <laughs>